I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Say good evening. Today is Monday, January 19, 2015. The time is 6.30 p.m. in a special meeting of the Greensburg Board of Works is called to order. It's time to silence all electronic devices. Not much on the agenda tonight, but the first thing in old business, the Mark Closter Camper bid on me for fuel. Is Chris going to be here? No, he, he is. Admits. He is. Yep.
had their bid. They had their bid bond. And this is from whom? I'm saying like this is from Premier, Premier A. I suppose we probably could. Okay. okay. Uh, we'll start with the top price, it's the same as the other one on the bottom. They've got unleaded at 205.9. They've got nothing for 91. They got 3099. For the pump price, and this is cool for the same. Uh, they have a bid discount of three cents. They have exempt taxes of 33 and point, 33 and point six cents, and on the other one they got 44 point seven cents. So they net out a dollar sixty nine three and two sixty two point two. And then over under the annualized fixed price, you can lock it in for a dollar eighty-nine three or two dollars and sixteen two sixteen point two for the diesel. Yeah, I understand that. That's what forty-six cents a gallon less than the bubble pump last price. time. On the top for tank wagon, their prices on the rack are $1.21.52, $1.63.25, $1.63.25, $1.63.25, $1.63.25, $1.63.25, $1.63.25, $1.63.25, $1.63.25, $1.63.25, $1.63.25, $1.63.25, $1.63.25, $1.63.25, $
said through the end of the year market, I, mean, I thought there were so many gallons. It is, but what they've done historically is um, if we have to build our quota by the end of the year, they just drop it. In other words, this past year, we, we ran out of contracted gasoline. Well, I think it's in December, which was a great deal because the market had gone down, so we got a lot cheaper that last part of December. Uh, the diesel fuel, we did hit our quantity, so we actually carried that price through the end of December. And now we're buying on the floating price pretty much just like what it shows down here on the bottom under the net price per gallon. We could continue on the floating price and come back and quote any time during the year. Correct. It's all based off the markets. So if the markets go up, our contract price will go up probably accordingly. Well, the first thing is that the Premier Ag is less expensive either end with uh, compared Speedway. to Speedway. Correct. So that kind of puts Speedway out, I would think. Mm -hmm. And then uh, if we decided to buy tanks for the future, above ground tanks, then we could consider this later on. But do we want to do anything, Mark? I would think we'd want to do some with tank delivery, wouldn't we? Dirt Street Department. I have to have three products when I go to the state final. Oh, unfortunately. You have to buy another tank. Yeah. Uh, because I keep right now. I can't buy off road diesel at the pumps, and that's what I use for the back of uh, the street sweeper. The Bobcat, several pieces of equipment. That offer is that the number two you say that number two? It's the one that says die. Yeah, so, okay. so I have to take that by tank when gas. I mean, mm -hmm. the quantity's enough that I would probably, and I think the water company can hold it, and I'm not for sure if the other two can. Um, and if you look at your bed package, it shows the amount utilized by each. In other words, the dive fuel is a pretty small quantity compared to the total fuel we use for the year and what's estimated for next year. So I would probably just go ahead and buy my dive diesel fuel on the market price. Right now it's $1.74. Costs 26 cents to lock that in, which means we're going to pay 26 more than we are currently. But if the market moves, we have it locked in. I don't know, that's kind of your guys' call. That's a tough call. To pay 26 cents premium over the current market price. Yeah, I mean, I mean the, best, the best deal is to go with the pump right now. So you can hold, what are you, what are you going to hold, two out of the 87 and improve the diesel? Is that what you got to keep the tank for? No, I have to keep that number two low sulfur diesel fuel dye okay. on the top. So that's one of your tanks? That's one of my tanks. What's the other tank? The gasoline? I want more. You probably use more diesel than you do gas, don't you? Uh, two trash trucks with diesel. And most of the snow plows diesel. But the snow plow usage is extremely small. Um, this year. Yeah, unleaded gas is 5,300 and diesel fuel is 8,300. The police department's a big gas user, about 15,000 gallons. And they don't have any way to keep it. So I assume they're going to have to take it at the pump. The question is, whether you want to lock it in and pay 20 cents more than the current market price for the entire year. The dollar 69 versus the dollar 89. I personally think from what they're estimating, the price the average price of gasoline this year is around 260, is what they're looking at. That's you know, that's what I was thinking too. I think it's pretty much hits about as low as it's going to go. 
but again, it's a gamble. Okay, with the unleaded gasoline, we're always going to get the 36.6 cents off the pump. Yes. Okay, what, so what are the two things that you would put in your tanks? The, the undyed, the, the dyed, the dyed, the dyed. and then what you because you'll need to put the undyed in the tank, is that what you're saying? For the premium diesel? The undyed's for your road trucks, right? The undyed, correct. Yeah, the dyed is for the certain piece of equipment, tractors, things of that nature. Once you got to look, we, we can load it right now. It costs us $1.90 if we have it delivered. If we go to the gas station and get diesel fuel, it's $2.62 for the same product. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Can you, do you have a tank for that? For the $1.90? Yes. Okay, so you're so I can keep both diesel fuels. Okay. Uh, Unfortunately, like the fire department, they can't, so they're going to pay, without locking the price in right now, they're going to pay 70 cents more a gallon to go fill up the pump. Unless you lock them some fuel in for $2.16. Okay, so what kind of Do they care where the tanks are at? Is there a problem there? tank at the fire department or letting you use off yours? Problem, and if I could, uh, we used to do that and we ran into security issues. Um, whether we weren't locking the pump back up, the pump somehow didn't get locked back up, and now you've got the fuel pumps sitting there. That's why they changed in the past. Then Premier Ag came about, built their new facility, and a lot of the reason we like going there is the convenience, the big area to get the trucks in and so on. But if you choose to go with tanks, we can we can adapt. Well, we can put a tank in your fire department. If we can find a spot to put it. And, um, you go with a small 500 gallon tank, it be more. I mean, we would have to look at somehow installate, installing as far as um, some type of an electric pump or something to that effect. To, to get the fuel in in a timely manner. Would there be any environmental problems with that? Would you have to get we, we would have to have triple wall tanks and stuff. I mean, we, I mean, there's there's places that do that. I think over a period of time, it would pay for itself with convenience. What I was looking for. Right. Okay. Any But we still have to use nineteen hundred gallon last year and estimate twenty four hundred gallon this next year. So about two hundred gallon a month. I think you set a three hundred gallon tank and you don't have to have it dyed, it doesn't have to be triple wall, I believe. I'm not for sure. Our thing would be we're just gonna have to figure out if we can set it somewhere to where we meet setbacks and so on away from the buildings. Away from the neighbor's property lines and such. That would be the only thing we'd have to look at. I think what I would propose right now is just go off the uh, the pump price, except you, did you say you have to have three different types to be able to go over the tank delivery? You have to have three different tanks. Because you have to buy that minimum amount of fuel. Uh, because you have to have an off-road diesel, an on-road diesel, and gas. So we have to take all three to be able to get the tank price, the tank wagon delivery. No, you can pick and choose however you want. In other words, there are... But then you'll need three tanks if you do two. You can go to the pump. Right. Okay. 
In other words, scratch through the octane or 91 octane unleaded fuel for tank wagon delivery. Yep. Because we don't buy hardly any fuel. Now, you have for dyed fuel, you only have one option. It has to come by tank wagon. Because the quantity that everybody uses is relatively small and it's 26 cent premium. In other words, I take my chances and just play it out on a floating market and take that dollar seventy four seventy one and change tomorrow. The ones that matter are the undyed diesel fuel and the gasoline. And if you look, you have four choices. You have the dollar fifty four, the dollar eighty nine, the dollar eighty nine, or the dollar sixty nine. Just remember the dollar eighty nines can't change the dollar sixty nine and the dollar fifty four can at any time. But you said something earlier about three tanks. You don't have to have you can contract from the tank wagon delivery just from what we need, eighty seven uh, octane and the premium diesel fuel on dot. Right? You can contract any of these from any of them if you have the capability to take the top ones and store them. You can just do one if you want. Mm -hmm. One tank wagon. You can do one on a tank wagon. You can do, if one department don't want to lock it in that way, you can do however they so choose. Okay, but your, your recommendation already is to go with the door 74. I wouldn't lock in the, the dyed diesel fuel. When you look at our total usage through all the departments, it's 4,500 gallons. So which means if we pay a 26 cent premium, well, we're automatically going to give up $1,150 and hope the market don't eat that $1,150 up. But what we want to deliver to the tank is our biggest user, right? Pardon? You, our biggest user. Who? Uh, whatever you use most of. No, that material has to be in one of my tanks. Yeah, the, the dye. Because I can't buy it at the pump. So one of the tanks has to have that material in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, Kim, that's the dollar seventy four. Correct. And we don't really want to lock that in, but just use this this price you have here. Mm-hmm. Okay. So then you have one other tank that you can put maybe some gasoline in or Mm -hmm. Your base user is probably the diesel, isn't it? Yes. Okay. But there's a 26 cents difference right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, Mark, do you suggest that we know we have to no sulfur diesel and fuel dyed and dyed fuel? And then your recommendation to go with the uh, undyed diesel fuel in the other tank or the gasoline. There's 26 cents difference there too, which is your biggest user, your other well, diesel or gasoline. If I if you don't lock the price in, it's a dollar ninety forty one for me to put it in my tank and run my dump trucks. If I go to the gas station today, I have to pay two dollars and sixty-two cents. They're charging seventy-two cents more for the same fuel at the gas pump than they are on the tank like today. I think we're probably think like I am right now, not to lock it in, but to buy it at the tank wagon delivery at the net price per gallon, not the fixed price per gallon. Yeah, I, I, that, that's my thought right now. Is the diesel the dollar ninety? And the dollar seventy four that you would get those delivered, then we would go with the floating on the gasoline right now at a dollar. We have to do that at dollar sixty nine. We have to go to the pump, right? Yeah, I guess that we have. We don't have any way to put it in the tank, so we have to go with the dollar sixty nine. I can't store gas. I maybe look at the gasoline in a month or so to see what the trend is. Really is. Right, because whatever, you know, it goes up, we're still going to get the 36.6 .6 cents off. The thing you have to remember is if gas goes up 30 cents a gallon, 
both those prices will go up 30 right. cents a gallon. So you'll never see the annualized fixed price again where it's at. It'll be whatever the market's up again. Yeah. And I go back to what I said earlier that I think it's, it's probably as low as it's going to get. But so you have to decide. Yeah, you've got to make a decision today and live with it. We did that last year. That's what last year we did. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Well, last year we did pretty good, except to the end of the year, which then now turned around and moved down also. Yeah. Yeah. In other words, the fuel goes back up this summer to 260 a gallon. We're going to, we're going to look at it and go, man, we should have locked it in the first day. If it doesn't go up, we gave away 26 cents a gallon. If you're looking at the difference of tax delivery for the diesel fuel that you use on the road, at a dollar ninety point four one cents per gallon versus the two sixty two point two. Which is your biggest user? Because in gasoline, you got a dollar fifty four to a dollar sixty nine. Be better off to buy the gas at the pump because you're not, you use probably much diesel as you will gasoline. There's a lot bigger discount on the diesel fuel. You have to look at the city entirely. That's what you're yeah. making the decision for. And if you look at your sheet that's within your bid specs, we use 27. We're estimated to use 29,000 gallons of gasoline and 14,000 gallons of off-road off diesel. So twice as much, you might say, but you've got 15 cents difference a gallon in the gasoline, and you have uh, $1.90. You have 72 cents a gallon difference on the diesel fuel. Mm -hmm. versus the pump. So even with that amount, so if everybody's going to go to the pump and get gasoline, it's going to cost us a dollar sixty-nine. Mm -hmm. The question is, do you want to pay a dollar sixty-nine, let it float, or do you want to lock it in for the entire year at a dollar eighty-nine? I think right now you want to let it float as low as it is. It's going to take. They're going to, they're going to raise it fifty cents a gallon each week. Wouldn't think. In other words, they're buying 20, you're paying 20 cents for protection to keep it at that dollar eighty nine for the entire year. You can walk in the undyed at two sixteen. Mm -hmm. I don't understand that, but that's fifty cents lower than or forty six cents lower than it is currently at the pump. I don't think any sense with me whatsoever. But I think it was that the way it was when there were other big that we couldn't look at. But you have a 72 cents a gallon difference. Even though they're using twice as much gas as they are diesel fuel, you're only saving 15 cents, which would come up like 30 versus 72 cents. So we're going to save 20 cents over. Yeah, we can't store it because we can't store it, right? Right. right. He, he needs to store the dye. Right. And if you go, which is the biggest savings citywide, then you want to store the undyed diesel, even though we use half as much per, I mean, half as many gallons as we do gasoline, the difference between the gasoline and the diesel is 15 cents on gas, 72 on diesel, so if you brought the diesel cut that in half, you know, you're still at 35 cents versus the 15. So you save more on the undyed diesel fuel than you would the gasoline overall, even though you burn twice as much gasoline. So it looks to me like you want to contract then would be the undyed diesel fuel and the dyed diesel fuel in my wall. When you contract, you mean the fixed price? No. Okay. That's Tank. contracting. That's what the contract is. Otherwise, we're just floating. These other numbers are just floating. Yeah, theoretically, these net prices, there is no contract. You're just going to do whatever the market bears and live with. Yeah. And, that, and that difference in, in the price is what we always get. Mm -hmm. Now, actually, the exempt taxes on gasoline can change because the state of Indiana no longer collects sales tax. I've learned more about gas tax in the last two weeks. 
they have done away with state sales tax and they now have what they call a state use tax. It is adjusted monthly based on the price of fuel as averaged for the previous three months. So for January, the state use tax is 15.2. In February, it'll probably be less as the gas prices have come down. So, yeah, the, 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 the exempt taxes on gasoline will change every month because it's based off the price of fuel. For the two months preceding the month they set the tax. I know and I don't know why. I just know that that's what the law says. Well, okay. So right now, I think we're... Well, maybe we're not agreeing In other words, because we know we're going to go buy 27,000 gallon gas, we know that's what we're going to buy the next year. The question is, do you want to pay 20 cents to lock it in at $1.89, or do you want to buy it today for $1.69 and hope it never goes up 20 cents? Well, I'd like to, and my recommendation is to float it at $1.69, and then if it starts zooming up, then we look at it again. If it zooms up, it's already gone. Well, that's the thing yeah, you have to remember. Uh, but we have to have a job to save. save. You've got to catch it on the way up. Yeah, yeah. You know, well, you have to catch one of the loads. That's theoretically what you want to do. I don't want it's the opposite of when I'm selling grain. When I'm selling my own personal grain, I want to sell it on the high day. You want to buy fuel on the low day. I, I if you're going to lock it in. I hate to pay 20 cents more a gallon over the next at least three months. I don't think it's going to go that hard. Do you know, Mark, I was surprised. I went back and checked. We paid 24 cents a gallon premium last January, and we were saving about 32 cents a gallon by July. So I don't know. I'm surprised, Mark. The last price we got from the premier was $1.26 on the tank wagon. And now it's $1.21. Mm -hmm. So the price has actually been down over the last 10 days or 12 days. I, I, I'm, I like it at $1.89. Uh, it's just scared me that it's going to go up. Firstly, I'll say that if it's uh, going to stay down. So, what would be the problem with the federal reasons? That's not why we're here. Well, what do you think on the, on the tank wagon on the two beaters? Do you want to do the 40 crunch or do you want to? Locking in the uh, the undyed and, and the dyed fuel. Yeah, two dollars point seven. Mm -hmm. Mr. Closter Camper, this come out of your pocket. What do you do? I have a lot more my usage is not as great as ours. My storage capabilities are a lot more. In other words, here a few days ago, I could buy gasoline for a dollar forty-seven tank wagon. So. I just want to head bought 2,000 gallon. It'll last me all year. I'm dealing with my own business. I also bought 2,000 gallon diesel on tank wagon for your farm. Mm -hmm. I figured it was as low as it could get, so I went ahead and bought all mine for a year for my personal use. If I would have eaten another 2,000 gallon, I would have contracted with that thing and paid for it. Because I just don't see it staying this low. But do we all agree that the dyed and undyed fuel should be locked in? Yes. Yes. 
and that would be at the tank wagon delivery, correct, Mark? No, it'd be a 216.4 and 2.07. Yes, that's a tank. Okay. That's tank wagon delivery and you and utilize its price. Right. So if you're going to lock in the road diesel, I'm not going to be buying the tank wagon price because it's two. One's two sixteen two, and the other's two sixteen four. I can actually go get it at the pump cheap, and I can get it. Delivered. No, not unless you. If you run a lock of in, you okay. go to the last column. Yes. And it'd be two sixteen four to have them delivered to my tank and have the control. This is part that's throwing us off. We don't understand this because you they charge more at the pump. Yes. Because of the market. I don't know why that last one is as low as it is. So let's take advantage of it. We need to fix in at the pump price at 216.2 because that is less than the 216.4 by the tank. See that, Steve? Yeah, sure. Do we agree with that? Uh, Temply agree with that. That the undyed diesel fuel, we should lock it in at 216.2 cents a gallon at the pump versus 216.4 at the basically what they're charging two, two cents, two tenths of a cent more for delivering it to the end. So, what would you store in your tank then? You'd have the you'd have the dye. Anything else? Well, I have an advantage over the people that use most of the gas at camp stores is that I can. So, if you're going to lock in fuel down here, I would ask that my gas. See, my gasoline. You're looking at a dollar eighty nine three. Or the cash price for mine is a dollar fifty-four if I put gas in my tank for the street department. So I had that would be a thirty-five cent increase before I would receive my savings. So because I have the capability to store the gas, I would probably crap shoot thirty-five cents a gallon over twenty cents a gallon. So you would go with the with the gasoline on fixed price too. With the tank delivery. I'd go with the tank wagon price for the gas set float because I can buy it for a dollar fifty more versus a dollar eighty nine. Nobody else the police department can't store any gas, so they only got a dollar sixty nine versus a dollar eighty nine. So are you saying you buy so many gallons that are dollar fifty four? And then whatever No, I just buy what I needed on the floating market and hope it doesn't go up thirty five cents a gallon from where it's at today. But that's on the tank wagon price, that's not the top price. But that's what I can use because I have storage capability. Brandon can't for, do that. Brandon has to cars turn a dollar eighty nine versus a dollar sixty nine. Yeah, but how do you how do you, can you separate that? Though? You can separate it however you so choose. So in other words, if you want to lock the gasoline in, uh, so we'd be locking in the gas for everybody with the street department. Yeah, you'd lock in twenty three thousand eight hundred three hundred one gallons of one price. And let the others float. But what do you mean the others float? I thought just you. Me, that would be me. Okay. If you think that it would be, you just assume lock that in. We'll just pour from thirty-five and lock it in too. It doesn't matter. Once twice as big. You gotta have twice the market value. You know, Twenty cents versus thirty-five almost. Okay, Mark, you're, you're wanting for your your place. I'm, I'll do whatever you say. No. I just said that's what I would do if it was going to be <coughs> on bottom. But you got to give so many gallons for that, right? No. Whatever I use will okay. be whatever the market is, less everything else. So, you, so it's how many gallons of gasoline? 5,800. Uh, for everybody else. <laughs> 23,301. Alright, so. 
I'm trying to put this in words right now. Twenty-three thousand three hundred one gallons. <laughs> contracted. Yes. Contracted at the dollar eighty-nine three. Correct. And fifty-eight hundred gallon would float. I guess if I give bad advice on it. Okay. Then the uh, remainder. The remainder we're going to use the fixed price. Lock it in. Two diesels. I lock in all the diesel fuel at the two dollars and sixteen point two cents that they've got shown right here. Okay, so you got, you got the other one, the dollar seventy four gallon stuff that went at the two point zero seven price. That's the that's the dyed fuel. Yeah, the the undyed diesel citywide is estimated at fourteen thousand two hundred and forty, and we would lock all of that in at the two sixteen two. Yes. And are you going to lock in the uh, the dyed fuel as well? The dyed fuel will do whatever you say. Right now, it's it's a dollar seventy four, and if we can lock it in for two dollars. How much is how much you use? The city uses a grand total of last year forty five hundred point six million gallons. Where are we going to so it's 26 cents. Yep. You said 4,500? Yes, for next year the total estimate is 4,750. Is that uh, diet diesel fuel just kind of average out monthly? Uh, I can only speak for mine. Um, I think I made mine was 2,047 gallon, and I think it was made in four purchases. Uh, most of them start to come later in the year. Street sweeper is a large consumer of diesel fuel, off-road fuel, probably the largest I got. And it runs in. April, May, June, July, and a lot in the fall, so that's when we use the majority of our off road fuel. I would probably lock that in at the 207. Okay, so the motion would be $2. To that tank line. We're going to contract 23,301 gallons of. 87 octane gasoline at dollar eighty-nine-three. Allow fifty-eight hundred gallons of gasoline to float. Lock in fourteen thousand two hundred and forty gallons of the undyed diesel fuel at two dollars and sixteen point two. And lock in four thousand seven hundred and fifty gallons of the dyed diesel fuel at 2.007. Right. It's got it. Okay. That's my motion. <laughs> Actually, we got it right. Yeah. Right. Now, every, everything's right. We don't have to table this to review it. No. The only thing we have to do, we've done this every year, is this was did today. They will have to go to the New York Mercantile Exchange tomorrow morning and buy this on the fuel on the board. And we always have you guys say as long as it's within two or two and a half cents of these prices, we want to lock it in. Anything below? Anything below would take, but it can't go up more than two and a half cents. In other words, we aren't going to give him an open ended order if he come back and go, well, oh, hell, fuel's up 25 cents today. 
we want to get back to three cents. So with a maximum of three cents more than what's been approved per gallon. Okay, that's that's the motion. That, that can go along with it. Amended your motion. Amended the motion. And also, this is coming from Premier Ag. Correct. And when we let you know by the end of the day tomorrow. Okay, Mom said he's done. Did you get it? Oh, yeah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making notes for it. I wrote notes, but. It's on the audio. I got it written down if you want it. Okay, I, I got it written down too. I was, okay. was, any, is there I any further was discussion? On my we got second right here. Bob seconded. Yeah, any further discussion? On part SSBK. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, same sign. Yeah. Motion passes unanimous. That was finished. He does one more. What? Is he done? Bye. Sir. Thanks, sir. Next item on the agenda new business. Fire Chief Chastain. One quick question. Do I get tanks tomorrow? Do I need to go get tanks or whatever? No, you're going to go to the pump. Okay. Okay. I just, I, Everybody I was trying to keep track here. Everybody ran to the pumps like always. Your same part will be good. But something we need to do is see what what the law allows for okay. your gallon tank. <coughs> you know, it might be worth a while. We used to go to the street department. $2.07. This is 15, 20 years ago. And again, the problem was security. We would get there to get fuel and somebody hadn't had the tank filled and it just, and then the convenience side came through, we'd go on the premium rag. Yeah, it'd be more than you get right there, sure. Yeah, right yeah, there. it's good. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, my request is uh, for a uh, determination from the interviews that we did in the executive session prior to this meeting. And what I would ask for is just a number, not a name, uh, as this person would only be given conditional offers of employment. And if something was to happen uh, that they could not fulfill that conditional offer, I don't want to interfere with their current job. Okay, by us not being able to come up with a decision uh, in the executive session, from what I understand, would it be correct to say that number three would be number one, and number two would be second, number four would be third, and number one would be fourth. And, and again, we have one position coming open in March, one coming open in April, and again, I, I ask that in the uh, motion that if for some reason any of the applicants for some reason can't move forward that I have permission to move to the next in the order that in which you would, you would, you would give me. Sounds like a motion. Okay. Who would like to move, make that motion? motion. Make some motion. Second. Darrell seconds. Is there any further discussion? <clears throat> Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, same sign. Motion passes unanimous. That's all the business we have on the agenda. Thank you. And it, real, real quick, if I could, uh, there was a question in the other meeting about the uh, uh, federal surplus fire truck that we're buying. Um, it is to be taken from Afghanistan to Pakistan in February, and it's supposed to be shipping from Pakistan to Indianapolis uh, starting on on March 1. So December, you know, Christmas, it might be a Christmas present. We're just not real sure. So. Um, they're still at least talking about it. They're still talking about it, so I guess that's a good thing. Uh, thank you for your time tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you. Anything thank else? Everything goes to adjourn. Being adjourned. Thank you, folks. Thank you.